following this road up to a mine and we're off to a good start already as you can see not good enough yet for me to get the uh the good camera out. i'm just using my phone right now but good enough so far see the old equipment here kind of cool and then behind me here looks like we've got the remains of a bunkhouse as you can see my buddy is checking it out there and then there's some stuff across the river for us to go check out so we just came from that bunkhouse and the equipment back that way and this is definitely looking more promising you can see we've got a uh, mining camp down there see the cabins and there, there are more back in the woods it's kind of hard to tell but there are This is listed as national forest land. And something else really cool is that over there, there's a landing there. It's got rail on top. So presumably there's an adit or something up there. And you can see the pipe running down. And the coolest thing is that the pipe is running to a Pelton wheel on the creek right there. That is incredibly rare, and how awesome is that? Real nice mining camp on the river right here. See this platform here is being held up by that Pelton wheel right there. You can see the pulley system to ferry goods and people across the river. And then all the cabins are back in the trees there. We just crossed over the creek or river here. You see the trans system the miners use that runs over to here this place looks awesome looks like at least three or four cab miners cabins up there let's go check it out all right we crossed the river and are up in the cabins now of this mining camp there's stuff all over the place right in front of me here is this awesome old truck how cool is this? I don't know my old vehicles well enough to tell you what make or model this is, but I'll bet some of the car people and the audience will know. Maybe I'll say inside here, nah, no luck. That sure is neat though. So you might have had a wooden flatbed truck with wooden sides, I'm guessing, from the look of things. Maybe part of a compressor right there, kind of hard to say. Yeah, probably oh, yeah. this looks like, yeah, I would say so. Wow, I never normally see this intact. This is, this is an amazing, amazing sight. Old mining camp just back in the woods like this. Who would have thought? There's stuff running up there. And then like I said, I've got the cabins here. That old truck they're checking out is right there. Got all the cabins back here. Big old Pelton wheel right here. And all kinds of pipes over here. Big, big pipes. And what's cool is you can tell they've been here a while because look how they're growing into the tree right there. Or I should say, the tree's growing into them. All the miners' cabins. And then it looks like there must be something good up here because there's a solid path going up there, platforms and such. Okay, we will go up there. I just want to check these cabins first. But don't worry, I'm not going to neglect that section. These cabins just look too interesting for me. Let's check out. This is amazing. This mining camp is so well preserved. That cabin right there. Maybe the other cabins. 
run up here. And I feel comfortable going in these. Um, so I'll just try and show you from the outside. I mean, the outside is more than photogenic enough on its own, wouldn't you say? My screened in porch right there. What an awesome sight. Wow. Be a great bug out cabin. Or even just a place to come and hang out in the summer. Nice cabin, it's nice and intact. Vandals haven't come and busted up windows or anything. That's real nice. Doesn't look like anybody's been here in a while though. You know, seating are starting to rot. Come apart. Yeah, I mean, look at... Doesn't look like anybody's been here in a while. Which is a shame, this is a... Such a cool spot. Wow. Well, we say we go check out where that trail leads off to the left. All right, I lied. One last shot of these cool cabins before I go check out where that trail goes. There's a carbide can over the top of the chimney right there. That's cool. With a nice river scene here in the background. And of course, this one next to us. This is a double-decker, two-story, whatever you want to call it. Old, old, old stuff down here. Ah, I can't see a thing through the window. These look well-made. These are probably at least a century or more old. Probably got a little uh, maintenance along the way, but Original structures are probably a century or more old. All right, let's go with great anticipation. Let's go check out where that trail goes. The cabins are back there and we're following this pathway up, which we assume leads to a mine, given that we saw some track and such from across the way. You can see some stamp mill components here, the cam right there, for example, and it looks like one of the shoes right there. Little platform right there. There are the remains of a hoist right here. A pretty large hoist, actually. I'm not sure if that is connected to this mine or brought in from somewhere else or what, but it's a pretty big hoist. And again, this pathway is run up there where my friends are. That hoist is just down there. You can see we pick up the rail here and something pretty innovative. I'm always seeing how innovative miners are and resourceful. Well, here you have a Honda powered jaw crusher. Tell me that's not innovative. Old three wheeler. And now it's running this jaw crusher here. Which hasn't been used in a while. And then rail is running off this way, so I'm very curious what is up here. It looks like there's a big tank on the left. Yeah, big tank on the left. And who knows what's ahead. This is the rail we've been following up. That's that big pipe right there. And that pipe leads up to, uh, looks like a tank up there. I have good news. The rail takes us over to this adit. And the door is wide open. Doesn't say keep out or anything like that. So let's go check it out. We just came in through there. Just first look inside right here. My buddies went up at the head that way. There's also a drift running off in this direction. But I think we'll save that. We'll stick together and see what is up here. Oh, there's a winds right here. 
it drops quite a way down. I would stick my flashlight in there under the water so you can see down farther, but that's a good three or four feet down. I don't have any way to get down there. So you can see the support timber there. You can see down maybe 20 feet, but that keeps going. So that's kind of cool. There is, or I should say there was an open stope here that's been covered up with this metal here. That's pretty cool. And we keep going this way. There is some semi-modern stuff here, but obviously nobody's been here in a while. So, I don't know if the claim was abandoned or what. Uh, okay, that just faces out right there. Got some gobbing here on the right. That voice, my friends up ahead, it's not a phantom or anything. That runs back a decent little way. And those reflectors actually give you uh, some perspective. A little side pocket right there. I don't know if you can hear it in the microphone or not, but there is pretty good airflow coming through here right now. Uh, it keeps going away. Runs maybe 100 feet or more before it bends. We're gobbing here. It's like a nice fault here on the right. See how flat and smooth that is? Timber here on the ground. Running up, oh wow, running way, way up. It feels like there's air coming down from there. I wouldn't be surprised if that <clears throat> ties in the outside world somehow. We'll see if the airflow diminishes when I get past that. Uh, no, still have airflow. I still wouldn't be surprised if that runs to the outside world. Though. I'm loving these colors. This is a cool mine. In terms of features and layout and that kind of thing. I haven't seen many artifacts, but I'm not surprised because it seems like it was worked in the past 20 years, 30 years or so. Ditches on the side are draining as they should. Yeah, that seems about right. You see uh, how sharply angled the added is here. I'm having to lean over to the right just to fit through here. Because that one, that uh, the rib on the left is leaning in so far. The fault line is interesting. Okay, the airflow is definitely picking up. Like we have a junction here. My friends head off that way. There's a platform here beaten up. We'll definitely check that out. But in the meantime, it says 300 cross cut. Right hand rule rules today. Oh, this is low. Let's go see what's back here. A little gobbing. Huh, the other mine didn't, or the other section of the mine didn't really have a smell. This smells very strongly of clay. Ninety-three. I wonder if that was one of those last mined. BL DL. Huh, that could well be when it was last mined, it looks like. I may have hit a face here, actually. Oh, no, it looks like it bends. Runs 350, I guess north-northwest. Yeah, that makes sense from where we were outside. That's the end right there. I'll check in just a second. Backfield section right there behind this gobbing, and it looks like it might face out right there, we'll check. In the meantime, oh, I missed the paint, I missed all the paint on the quartz right here.
Let's go just check this one real quickly because I don't want to miss a stove or something like that. Speak of the devil. Just a little stove, but I do try to be thorough with these mine explorers. Okay, that's it. A little metal on the ground. That is it. Oh, I see what they're chasing here. That quartz. That's what they're doing in here. Okay. Moving along. I just want to make sure there's nothing over here that we're missing. Okay, yeah, that just spot. <clears throat> faces out right there. Stop right there. Same here in this little pocket. That's the way we came in. And that just faces out right there. A huge bowl right there. Okay, let's continue down what was presumably the main attic right there. We just went down the 300 cross cut there. We are now continuing deeper down what is presumably the main haulage at it, which bends around back there. In the meantime, we have an impressive stope up here with a big pillar right there. It carries over, or not the pillar, but the stope carries on over there. This is that platform we were looking past earlier. And if you look through it, can you guys see back there? The stope runs maybe 80, 85 feet over there. And I see the little pockets carved out. But I don't see any uh, actual levels or anything up there. This pillar is probably 15 feet across to give you Sense of size, it's pretty big. The stope is actually really large. I didn't expect anything this big in this mine. This is maybe 60 feet up right there. Pretty impressive. All right, let's see what else might be in here. Was I trip and stumble? There you go. Nice and cool in here. Keeps going there. Looks like there's some uh, rubble that came down from the stope right there. A little window up into the stope here. Wow, this is big. Okay, so we've got Rubble right there, but the drift or the attic continues that way. Looking up, there's a little window right there. The stope, so it's hard to light this up. Stope carries on overhead. Where all that water dripping down from. Man, this is big. That goes up maybe 75 feet. I really didn't expect this mine that features this large in it. This is impressive. This next to me here on the right is pushed back a good 10, 15 feet. This column, oh, there's another uh, pillar right there. There's a pillar right there. And that stope, that's where we were looking up before, off to the right. That stope. See all the quartz here? That's all quartz. And this, these slabs that caved full of quartz. That's all quartz. You can see the quartz stringers really clearly in that one. This looks difficult to climb over, so I'm going to put the camera away and I will rejoin you over there. I was just standing over there. I've crossed over the rubble. There's a winds here on my right. Looks like a bunch of slabs have gone down it. Looks like it's all pinched off. It looks like it did run down there at one time, but it's all pinched off full of rock right now. It obviously came down from here. I was looking through that other stope we were uh, checking out before I was standing over there, if that makes sense. You see there's a little platform or rock up there. That all ties, this is all tied together. 
These aren't separate stopes. This is one giant stope that's continued along. There's some gobbing right here. This is kind of cool. You can see that the remains of an ore chute here that ran up up there to where they stoked things out up there. You know, if you get a perspective like that, we're able to just look right up at if there's something blocking it. A little, uh, little side drift right there. I think that doesn't really go anywhere, but we'll check just real quickly. Oh, this is more extensive than I expected. Uh, all right, that just stops right there. There is, oh, this is kind of cool. There's a ladder here leading up to the top of this little stope right there. That's where that, remember that window we looked up and saw? That's it right there. That leads to that little window we, we looked up. And we're not done yet because there's a rail taken off in this direction. This is impressive. This is 425. That's a reference to how uh, far we are into the mine. For those of you that don't know, Yeah, see it says 450 right there. So we came 25 feet from 425. And of course there's 475. And of course, face out right there. So, I thought this was just a little backfield pocket, but this is more extensive than I expected. But let's continue down the main edit. We just looked in there. My friends are right there. And we have what's left here to check out. Here's another view of that ore chute we passed. That's a side perspective on it. And again, it runs up to that stope and vein up there. And this runs off a little bit to the side there. And then we have this in front of us, of course. We're gobbing right here. There's 450 in this one. Okay. That stope we looked up just a second ago where the ore chute was runs over to here, as you can see. And they ran back a little way. Probably chasing some quartz or something back. Uh, obviously, they're chasing quartz, but I'm saying they're probably chasing a little vein or something back there. Could have just been exploratory. Little fire hose right there. Or the remains of it, I should say. Keep coming this way. Oh, cool gobbing. Look at that. Cool gobbing there. More gobbing. Along there. On the left. For those of you who don't know, the miners would do that because it's easier just to stack the rock on the side than haul it all the way out. There's a little pocket right there. Ah. Okay, that just runs up to there. A little stope right there. That's it. I can see the end right there. If it, I don't know if you can see in the shadow or not on the camera, but I can see that's the end right there. We just peeked up there. I'm gonna continue down the main at it. See some rails right here. Curved rails, probably just for this bend right here. But those didn't move very far. Five hundy. Oh, another winds. It looks like they may have been trying to pump this one. See the pipes running down there? Let me get under this and get a better view. They're looking down the winds. The water is fairly murky, as you can see. You probably see it better when I have the floodlight position. Pretty murky, but I think they were pumping it out with this PVC pipe. I don't know what else that would have been for. Who knows, this uh, runs up here. 
Oh wow, there's way up there. There must have been a nice vein just dipping straight down here. And they they fall it up. And even overhead here. Fall it up. And then all the way way, way down here. And you know what? I'm not an expert on pumps, but that looks suspiciously like an old pump. And the position of the winds makes me think also that well, that could be a pump. Am I wrong, guys? Somebody that knows an old machine, old mining equipment, let me know, because that I'm thinking is a pump. Yeah, pretty sure that's a pump. Okay, what was throwing me at that rail right there was throwing me off, but that's just piled on top of it. That's not a piece of what I think is a pump. That makes more sense. So yeah, obviously, I mean, we know they had issues with water back then, just as they do now, so it makes sense they would pump that out, and I'll bet that goes down away. They needed to pump it out like that. We know where all the rail ended up. Actually, either rail and pipe. I thought this was all rail. A lot of pipe mixed in here as well. And that makes me think that's a pretty deep winds. 550. Looks like might be at the end of the line here. Yep. End of the line. 575. Cool mine. Wow. We still have that drift off to the left near the uh, portal to check out too. So I'll head back there and meet you guys there. We just finished checking out that part of the mine. I'm back at that first junction. 25 feet in as you can see. We have this drift here left to explore. Looks like it runs back a decent way. Kind of jumbled here in the entrance. So you might see me trip over something. Ah. It's a rail toss back here. Looks like a big hose or tubing right there. Don't, yeah, there's no recent rail back here. This may be, these may be older working, this is much smaller, so I'm wondering if this is perhaps the original. Hard to say, I don't see any sign of a, 100 feet in, I don't see a sign of a, a vein or any stooping or anything. Oh man, and we just fixed out, I think. Ah. Well, obviously the miners had the same impression I did because they let this one go and went to the right. They side of a fault right here. It's all flat and smooth on my left. Well, that was pretty cool. This whole site is pretty awesome. The attic we checked out is just down there. And I came up here because I was curious about where that open stope ran out. You see that metal sheeting right there? That covers up the open stope we looked up to. Or we looked up and saw this is what I'm trying to say. Now, you remember that winds was down there? This drop down to the winds? I was kind of wondering about a hoist for that winds because it was so big. And lo and behold, this is obviously the hoist house for that winds. That's the cable. You haul in the skip car of the winds, presumably. This is really cool. Oh, there's the hoist. Nice. Inside the little shack right now, the hoist house. Just looking at it. Still doesn't see any manufacturer's plate, so... I'll give up on that quest for a manufacturer's plate. But this is the view the operator would have enjoyed. I don't know if enjoyed is the right word, but would have had looking out that way down 
through the open stove. You know that winds. Pretty pretty cool. The attic we checked out is in that little dip right there, and I was curious about this tank. And so I climbed up here to see if I could figure out what the deal was. That big pipe we uh, ducked under runs out right there, and that's it. Now this pipe ran down to the creek or the river where it looked like those Peloton wheels were. So I would assume water comes in here then runs down the hill and powers the Peloton wheel. My question would be though is where the water comes in from. There's a little gap right here where I suppose maybe you could say a flume line ran in or something but I don't see any sign of that I'm looking around like this so not 100% certain how that worked but pretty sure that was for power. Just to expand on what I was saying earlier about the tank. The tank's right there. You can see the pipe running down here. And there are those Peloton wheels down there. That's a pretty awesome setup. I have to say, that is a pretty awesome setup. So we're following what we think is an old flume line here. You can see all the bits of wood down below. And believe that's possibly a flume tunnel right there but I'm really just using that as an excuse to turn the camera on to show you the view here see a double waterfall up there turquoise pool down below amazing spot yeah this is an old flume tunnel uh, we just had to cross over that sketchy section where my buddy is and you can see the water came through here. See a lot of water came through this. It's all carved out by the water. I don't mean the tunnel was, but I'm saying the, uh, it's down to bedrock, that's what I'm trying to say. And speaking of rocks, somehow this gigantic boulder was shoved in here. I can't even imagine the amount of force that would have taken. That weighs so many tons, and yet the water was strong enough to smash it through here. That is incredible. So we followed it out and it comes to here. My friend there. Oh, it's up on that waterfall we saw from a distance. So obviously where I'm standing was the intake for the flume line. 